Hello there boys and girls of the internet and welcome to some World of Tanks gameplay PS4. I'm Chopper Mir. this is my first one that I've uploaded to YouTube. This is a Cromwell, uh, just uploaded, just got the top package for it and I managed to get an ace tank, uh, 20 minutes to spare before the missus got in from work and thought let's see how good this gun is, see how good the new tracks are. Turns out pretty good, even in my incapable hands. So I thought I'll upload and uh, if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't give me a thumbs down give me a comment let me know what could be better so we are on ghost town used to hate this map but now I rather love it and now I've figured it out got a Radley Walters on this the other day in the Excelsior which I will be uploading soon once I find it so here we go we start off I'm thinking right let's see what it's all about so heading south on the flank, I've realised the best way to play the Cromwell because of its speed and awful armour um, is to go nice and flanky, play like a scout with a big gun. And uh, it seems to be paying off. I've seemed to be doing a lot better in it now. When I first got it, I couldn't stand it. I just moved up from the Crusader. Uh, got my first mark of excellence on that as well. But <coughs> hey ho! So we we'll push around the outside here. I've got a little light tank backing me up and there's a heavy following us while the rest of them seem to be heading into town. Not quite what I'd do. Uh, learnt my lesson the hard way not to jump straight out there. Um, as you can see, gave me peek my little head out, see what we can get. I haven't, I'm not running optics yet, I haven't quite uh, put them on. I will be uh, getting the grind on and getting them on soon, just to try and extend that view range a little bit. I mean, the only thing with British tanks, they do tend to be quite low. Uh, but with the recon skill that I've got on my crew at the minute and with a coated optics we should be all good I tend not to use binos because I don't like sitting still and there we go, light tank lights up my opposite there Oof, that's a miss thinking he's being a bit cheeky here so we get one into him, that's nice first bit of damage of the, the round and there's a KV-1, the bane of my life Coming up against these in Crusaders and the Excelsior. Shut up, mate. I'll turn that off. Yeah, coming up against KV-1s in what I have been driving is usually the death of me. But I think, do you know what? YOLO on the battlefield, let's go. Just start nosing around, keep myself behind a bit of cover in case I get spotted. Not hard cover, obviously, but, you know, soaks up around, doesn't it? I'm thinking, where's that KV-1? He's here somewhere. There he is. Oh dear. And that's a pen. I'm thinking at this point, this gun's nice. <laughs> Managed to pen a KV-1. Normally I would have bounced every round. And I think, right, that's it now. I'm going on a rampage. This tank's amazing. So I did. I decided to get myself on a little rampage around Ghost Town. Avoid it going through the centre because of the big cluster of heavies over there. I'll let our TDs and heavies deal with that. Sixth cent spots up, lets me know someone's seen me. So I'll get myself a little bit of angle on the armour. And there's our other Cromwell. Managed to bounce one. And there we go. In through the tracks. And there should be a finishing kill. Very nice. Very nice. Sixth cent still going, so there's something. And there's a T1 heavy. Another tank I can never pen. I think, do you know what? I'm going for it. And I managed to pen it. And now I'm thinking, this guy's AFK. He's just, he's gone to the toilet or something. He's got AFK. So, aim for the uh, ammo rock. Miss. So I just keep going for the back, thinking, come on, don't let my, t my teammate take that kill. But, hey, I'm happy. I got a good amount of damage out of it. Some good pen. I'd already spotted the artillery that had uh, flashed up in my excitement, crashed into the wall. Light tank finishes him off nicely, and I'm thinking there's a nice cluster of heavy tanks there with their bottoms exposed to me. So let's move ourselves through the town, move through the centre, avoid detection, let that light tank light them up for me, show where everything is. Get out of dodge pretty quickly. I love how fast the Cromwell is with his new with the top package it is a fantastic tank for getting around it's like a light tank with a big gun and it's really working for me now 
really working. There's a Churchill one with his bottom to me. Take his engine out. Oh, he's down to a one shot. Take a bit of damage from him, but it's all right. This guy obviously senses the danger and thinks I'm off. Uh, no, give him a circle of death. We're not stopping today. We're on a rampage. He's got Prem firing at me as well. Premium rounds, and he luckily missed. Fluff the turn there a bit, but it's all right. So what we got? Two heavies and a tank destroyer left. Take the gun out on the. I think it's a VK30. Yep. Oh, we set him on fire as well. Oh, beautiful. So we're down to a TD. So it's a race to get Frenchy now. Oh. Auto aim shot manages to pan him. I managed to hit a dead tank. God only knows how. I'm just spamming now because the reload's so fast. We track him, so that's nice. He can't turn. And we get the kill. And it is a good game. Little donut. And here we are in our finish. So we load it up. There's my daily double. 2,894 damage. Five destroyed. Got a high caliber arsonist bruiser. And there's the mastery. I'm happy with that one. 27 pens. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. 1825 base XP. So that's good going. If I hadn't have had my repairs... I'll use my supplies. Well, I can't have to use my supplies, I suppose. 43,000 silver is pretty good going for me. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.